People often ask me, do you feel more Cajun or more American? I grew up in South Louisiana. I'm very proud to be a Cajun, but I'm an American. Came from Denver in the middle of the night. Those two parts of my experience are, are not contradictory, but, but complementary. There's a wonderful Creole poet uh, whose name is M. César. And he speaks about his French and his Creole heritage as his two hands. And he says to separate himself from either one of those languages would be like cutting off his hand. And that's how I feel about the English and the French part of my existence. In spite of the fact that I was, for these last 15 years, touring and recording almost exclusively in French, I never stopped writing in English. Fire in the Night is the album that follows Lumière dans le Noir, which followed Cœur Fidel, which followed Cap en Arger, which followed Snake Bite Love. And I guess that's, that was a turning point for me. It was 92. I understood then that there was a, a, a very exciting mix to be made between, between root sound, vintage sound, acoustic guitars, and a real roots Americana approach, and, and contemporary modern recording. That's what I've been practicing for the last 15 years. There's a, a couple of songs that talk about hurricanes on the record, but only one of them was written after the storm. I've written um, five songs that I can recall about hurricanes just to say what a big part of our experience in South Louisiana hurricanes are and have been and probably will continue to be. And the songs came from a lot of different things, but what, what unified it for me was the fact that it's me. It's all, you know, it's, it's my voice. They're my songs. They're about things that touch me. In order for me to be inspired, I have to be touched. Two children played on a dusty road. Barefoot running in the yard. Uh, the, the album was recorded in Montreal, in Paris, in New Orleans, in my house in, in Lafayette, all over the place, basically, wherever they had a, an electrical outlet, we were in business. We ain't done nothing wrong. Being able to collect experience from all over the place and to put it in the blender and then to have Mike Napolitano come and put his magic arms around it at the very end and, and create that sound was something that was, um, for me, a real positive experience. And hopefully people will listen to the record and they'll be touched and they'll feel as strongly about the songs as I do.